What's going on guys? Welcome back to episode 4 of the Skyrim Let's Play. Um, I almost said Oblivion just because I'm still used to that. We're, we've conditioned um, ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Um, yeah, we just killed the first dragon. So, we used our shout. Optional, use your new shout. Optional, use your new shout. Can then, we equip it? I forget. It's under magic. I think. Yeah, I think we already have it equipped, I believe. Yeah, we do. Yeah, cool. All right, cool. Relenting force. We gotta classic. go back to Jarl Balgruf so he can evaluate us. Boost! Boosting our way back. I guess I could just fast travel. Even though it's right there. Yeah, thankfully. We don't have to keep pace with the dark elf lady anymore. Yeah, that was a little. She sure reminds me of Thanos' lackey, that female with the horns. If you guys. Infinity War. I don't even remember her name, but she was one of the. I only the remember Gamora and Nebula. Um. There was, there was the other two, there was our favorite Ebony Maw, who's that ugly guy. Is that the Squidward guy? Squidward guy, yeah, yeah Squidward guy. Favorite. And then there was like a World of Warcraft looking elf lady. I don't remember. Yeah, she, she reminds me a lot of that Dark Elf. A lot of that stuff was World of Warcraft looking. <laughs> yeah, it was. Whoa! Oh! Oh yeah. Those are the, of course, as you all know, I'm sure most of you know. The priests of High Hrothgar. Dovar King! Dovar King! Calling me upon them. I'm Skurf! It's kind of cool how it like breaks the sound barrier and then you hear it. Yeah, it yeah. is cool. It's, it's like, like the sonic boom yeah. happens first and then you hear the actual words. <laughs> the doors in this are so weird. Sometimes they're open and then you'll, you'll click it and it'll close. It'll close and, you'll and, click you'll, it again. and it'll go yeah. in, yeah. I don't know if they patched that by now, but they was, it was that way when we started yeah, playing the hopefully game. Hopefully they have it, but they have. Man, I love the architecture so much. Yeah. Good. You're finally here. The yarl has been waiting for you. Yeah, I know. You Hence heard the, the sound. So what happened at the watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. Be the dragonborn. dragonborn. What do you know about the dragonborn? So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. The Greybeards? Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thoom or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. All right, I think we know how this goes. Do you have to keep talking to him? Thundering sound as you return to White Run. That was the voice of the Greybeards. Somebody so high Rothka. This hasn't happened. I the burger got ketchup on my face. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this what dragon ball. Oh, I gotta shout to prove it. Nord nonsense. Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the first empire. Rongar, don't be so hard on Avenich. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that what do these graybeards want with him? That's the graybeards' business. Not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know. This is really slow dialogue. Isn't Seven thousand steps is just again. Me? It's a little slow. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar <laughs> is a very peaceful place. You've done a great service for Thank me you. and my city, Dragonborn. I think I was just letting him go on. Right yeah. Yeah. I name you Thane of White Run. Thank you. Do okay, I we get Lydia right now? Yay! Yeah. Oh, we get Lydia. Yeah. <laughs> Sworn to carry I your burdens. Lydia as a personal house carl. And this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. This weapon? <laughs> I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? 
Torch him. We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Cool. No I like the hierarchy. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. Okay. Back to business, Proventus. So as I walk out, Lydia should be there, right? Yeah, yeah she is. spawns right there. There she is. <laughs> Lydia, this is her first... The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Lead the way. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys, we did it. We got a GF. Does, doesn't she die pretty easily? We got a gamer GF. Um, she, yeah, she dies pretty easily. You have to, you have to give her good stuff. You know, you have yeah. to give her good uh, armor and stuff. All right, so we're supposed to go up to High Hrothgar. So yeah, I guess we gotta make the pilgrimage. Lots of walking in the snow. Okay, let's do it. My favorite companion was always Mercurio. He was I that. Like Mercurio. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Iverstead. Oh, right, you gotta oh, go gotta to Iverstead because that's oh, where. Man, yeah. Oh no, it's oh, on the other wow. side of a mountain. Wow. Well. All right. Let's make the pilgrimage. Let's make the pilgrimage. I think, look, it looks like this side of the mountain would be harder to get across. So I'm gonna go across this north yeah. side here following the river. We can get a horse. Yeah, I guess we could. We'd have to buy it though, right? Yeah. I don't wanna be no horse thief. Oh. All oh, right, I didn't mean again. The controller is this the new controller? It's the new one. Yeah, we actually got a new one. Oh man, is it just? Uh, it might just be your stamina is low, so we can't run that much. No, I um like. It's, it, look, 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 look at my hand. Oh. And then you see that? Yeah. Yeah. Weird. I don't know. Is that supposed to happen, guys? It didn't used to happen when I. I don't know why. Weird. Maybe I don't we, like that. If please let us know about that. It may. It may you just there. be like that. We're looking oh, for someone yeah. in White Run. We'll pay good money for information. Oh, I remember this. Yeah. A woman, a foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in Whiterun. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. If you locate her, find us in Rorikstead. Have you done that quest? Yeah, I've done that quest. It's a good quest. You can actually, like, you... I like the Skyrim quests. Um, you actually like find out more about people as you go deeper into the quest. Yeah. Like it presents you with things a certain way, you know, like this woman's run away and she needs to be, and it turns out they're like really bandits looking for her or something. Or yeah. I actually forget what the what the final like truth is that's yeah. revealed, but it always it makes you think a little bit. You're like yeah. Which side? Yeah. Exactly. Cool. Like what, it makes you it sort of makes you mistrust everyone in the game eventually. You get all their cool scimitars. Yeah. Should we get a horse? Yeah, I guess we could. And this guy? <laughs> got the fleetest th Suppose so. Got one all saddled if you've got the coin. Uh oh, do we have the coin? Um, let me see. Right. Oh, not there no, yet. God, horses are expensive. Coin. Yeah, they are expensive, man. So I was wow, telling maybe you. it's not worth it. Can we take the, uh, this guy? Mm. I never use these. Oh, maybe, yeah, sometimes. Oh, look at the moon. The two moons. Yeah, that's cool. Ones. The moons look a lot nicer. Need a game. ride? Where do you want to go? Where was it? Iverstead. Uh, is there anywhere near? It would be that? by Riften, right? Wouldn't that be the closest one? Just double check. But... Climbing back, and we'll be off. I Climbing just did it. back. <laughs> All right. Where's Lydia? Isn't she following me? Uh, oh, there oh, she is. She just snuck up on me there. If you've never been to Riften. Be sure to visit the Black Briar Meet. He should have helped Lydia into the carriage first. To forget all. Yeah. But, you know, whatever. She just wanted to carry his burden. She yeah. should have helped him into the carriage. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. I forgot how integral Balgruff is to the whole, at least the beginning of the story. Yeah, he's like the central part so of the funny. beginning of the story. Yeah. Jarl Balgruff. All the, well, not the Counts, but the Jarls are big characters in this game. Mm -hmm. In Oblivion, the Counts were just like, you talk to them like a couple times, maybe. Okay, Riften Stables. And this is Riften, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to take that out. Before so Riften's I near the, Riften, the town we need to be in, but yeah. Need to yeah. Pay the visitor's tax. Oh, this guy. For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? All right, keep your voice down. You want everyone to hear you? I'll let you in. I just, just want to discover it. Unlock the gate. Right. Oh, yeah, you actually have to go inside of it to unlock it. Yeah, you have to like. The gate's unlocked. 
<laughs> <laughs> the worst guard in the game. Yeah, because it's it's the thieving city, right? Yeah. So they're like getting you ready for that with making the guard try to shake you down at the gate. <laughs> Everyone in the city is just this shitty guy yeah, who wants money. Yeah. I mean, it draws that kind What's of. What's the difference? Yeah. You've got to pay the tax. Oh man. All right, Riften discovered. Oh, look at that. Oh. I had another run oh, yeah, she's the one people. with the... You have to find her blade or something? Yeah. All these games have some sort of a pilgrimage thing. It's, it's very bold because they don't really try to make it that exciting. It's like you literally just have to walk up the mountain, right? And then in the in that Crusader DLC for Oblivion, Knights of the Nine, they had you go to like completely different sides of the map and pray at all the shrines, and there was nothing... That was it. Like, that was literally just it. You just had to do that. Yeah. It's very strange, the yeah. All right, yeah, this is yeah. this is good, because it's like a straight shot mm -hmm. over there. I don't have to go around some mountain or anything. Oh, hey, you were just parked outside of. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Wasn't she? He just teleports. Of... Yeah, I guess so. Oh man, I want to yeah. get my sword and shield out. And it's strange because these games usually have so much replay value, but then there's little moments like this where walking up the mountain's pretty cool the first time it gives you the sense like wow these guys are really like this is serious this is a big part of the game yeah. but you know after you've done it the fifth time it's like oh my god yeah i know <laughs> looking good all right why is it doing that i'm just um running and it's taking my sword up something's something's up with the controls i swear to god <laughs> that's so crappy it's too bad it's not safe around here. Why? There's always something. The... It's never a quiet farm. It's never a sleepy cottage. It's always there's always some mystery beneath the surface. We're all about to die. Help Everyone, us. Everyone, there's actually a curse on this farm. The only reason I'm being nice is because the demon is making me. You know, it's always that. They all know you're gonna help them, but everyone else is like a threat. Yeah, like yeah. the whole yeah, the whole thing is just. Appearances are it, and things are never as they appear. I've been yeah. That's that's the theme in all these side quests and all these little <laughs> locations. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's for sure. That's kind of pretty. That is very pretty. Changes right on cue. I definitely think they upped the co the contrast on this from the lat from the original yeah. release. Yeah, I know. I think you like uh, the Oblivion aesthetics better, right? Oh yeah, a lot. Well, you guys got to remember that, you know, we're, we're from Arizona, so we just see, like, dirt and red rock all the time, so... We don't see trees change color. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> like a novelty. And, like, Oblivion is all lush green forest, so that's, like, the polar opposite of, you know, when we walk outside. Exactly. So, I think that's why, specifically, I liked it so much, at least growing up. And if you look at, um, I mean, I've never been to Norway or Denmark or anything, but if you look online, it, it's so vibrant, you know? It's so colorful. Yeah. The fjords and the mountains and the forests. And obviously these guys did their homework, like, a lot when they, you know, created this world, but then they decided to, like, grayscale everything, you know? It's to give strange. it, yeah, to give it, like, an air of doom sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you? Oh no! <laughs> it doesn't look like he really did anything. It doesn't look like a blade strike. It looks like he's punching it with the sword. Yeah, it looks you know, like a blade, yeah. like the end of the <laughs> the handle of the sword or something. You're never quite sure what's supposed to be going on. And he just sheathes his bloody sword. That kind of makes me cringe still, you know? Yeah. Like you, you don't want to wipe it down. You just it's just a little pool of blood at the bottom. Yeah, of the you sheet. got like a scab <laughs> in the in your scabbard. That's disgusting, dude. How could you do that? Ooh, the butterfly. Ooh. Catch the butterfly. Ooh. I got him. Nice. I don't think I've ever used butterfly wings. I don't know what they're... I mean, yeah, alchemy, them. right? But <clears throat> Yeah, like low-level potions yeah. and stuff. <laughs> I kind of want to get distracted <clears throat> and check out one of these castles. Oh, going to see some action. Yeah, I know what you mean. The Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. It's just wayward legionaries. It takes. Our headquarters is in solitude. I will join the Legion. It sounds cool. 
You gonna join the Imperials? I'm gonna join yeah. the Imperials. I'll join the Stormcloaks before. It's funny how when this, again, when this game was initially released, everyone I think went for the Stormcloaks, right? They're like they're the cool rebels. Because it was oh, new, and now forever. everyone hates the Stormcloaks. Yeah, Clubs. as soon as we like, they took a moment to think about it. They're like, eh. yeah. <laughs> it's funny. Everyone. Yeah, I did that too. Yeah, I went for the Stormcloaks without even thinking about it because they appeared as like the heroes, you know. They, they're sort of the noble resistance, right? Yeah. So oh, there's some mages fighting over there. I forget, these woods are much more lively than the Oblivion woods. That takes care of that. Oh, well. Must have run off. Yeah, the, the Stormcloaks to me are like a combination of indigenous resistance to empire and nationalism against globalism. It's like those two dynamics working at the same time. Yeah. It's like, they're like the indigenous inhabitants of Skyrim, but they're also like these nationalists. Yeah. You know, the, they, they like impose pol like racist policies against the other uh, like elves and stuff. At the same time, they're they have like that like semi-justified goal of like trying to take back their territory from the empire, the old married dominion or whatever. Mm -hmm. I wonder if the writers knew that there'd be so much political discussion about the. Oh, I'm sure they. I'm yeah. sure that was the point, right? The, to make so, them this yeah. sort of like midway, sort of um, middle of the road. I don't know. Mm -hmm. This this hotly debatable entity, political entity. It is a very memorable part of the game because, yeah, it's very, there's no clear black and white, it's just like, it really does make you think. Like, you're gonna, you're gonna have to commit a crimes or like moral, morally repugnant things no matter which yeah, side yeah. you join because it's war, mm -hmm. and that's how it works. Oh, and the other cool thing that I really did like about this game, um, that I didn't know until only like a few years ago, I feel like, was that, uh, in the uh, Dark Brotherhood questline, you can attack uh, Astrid, and then just like it'll start this whole questline where you're uh, watching the world die, where you're uh, fighting against the Dark Brotherhood. Really? Did you know that? Yeah. No, I didn't know. Remember, she uh, puts you up in that shack with those guys that are all tied up, and she's yeah. just like kill them. Yeah. But you can choose to turn around and attack her. I had no, I yeah, honestly had I no idea. Yeah, I didn't know that either. Yeah. Yeah. But you can, and that's that's awesome because. Your character never makes sense at the end of the game once you've completed all the quest lines. They're like their moral compass is like. What yeah, is you, you have allegiance to simultaneously <laughs> everyone and no yeah. one because these factions are are at odds with each other. All right. Such a thing has not happened. Should we make our ascent, ladies and gentlemen? Let's do it. This is the bridge, right? And this guy wants me to take stuff up for him. Oh yeah. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar about. I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Not that I'd care to. Being masters of the Thum, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Well, not that they would. They seem peaceful. Yeah, they would. I wouldn't want to provoke shoot them with an arrow to get your <laughs> archery skill up like I used to. <laughs> Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Really? Here, take this bag of supplies. Aren't the Greybeards? Will do. So yeah, the Greybeards, they don't leave the monastery, right? Right. So they're like, um, they're like Benedictine monks, like they just stay cloistered all the time. Mm -hmm. And then at the same time, they've got like these wandering, like the vigilance, vigils of Stendar, right? They're sort right. of like wandering monks. Yeah, the whole supernatural monks in the temple thing reminds me of Star Wars, you know? <laughs> they're very, they're very like, you know, the Jedi Masters in the temple. I always get that feeling. They are like the Jedi Masters. And they're very reserved, they don't really do anything until it's completely necessary and you don't really hear much from right. them and they're peaceful. But it's funny how they're all so old. You'd think there'd be kind of a mix, right? Like, yeah, you'd know. think there'd be like a... <laughs> they're they, like the same age. want to raise like a, a new generation to yeah. take over where they left off. Looks like the temple will die with them, I mean... You know. Yeah, right? Okay, goats. <laughs> I'm gonna do this the whole way up. That's like how slow they are. It is ridiculous. It's slower than you. It's armored human. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, he's just praying. <laughs> he's not doing anything wrong. Barkinar. 
Oh, here he comes. Hey, Barknar, hey. Whoa. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. I will. I forgot that Lydia was there again. <laughs> I keep forgetting she's there. And jump I get, scares like, by Lydia. Jump scares. <laughs> On the wind sound becomes more prevalent as you get higher. Oh. 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 <laughs> it should just be a cutscene where you just kick him and that's it, and there's no <laughs> slice afterward. It's kind of a little much. I know. It looks like it just looks like a dog. It's just like you're kicking a dog. Like if someone walked in on you playing the game and they saw that, they would just think you're. That's what's going oh, on. Man. In Bully, when dogs run up to you, you grab them by the collar and, like, punch them. <laughs> what? In yeah. Bully? Really? In yeah. Bully? You picked the wrong alum. I'll get you for sure. <laughs> I like Bully, but that's crazy. Uh, this is so weird. You can't, so like, pet funny. them or whatever? No, they're always vicious. Yeah. Isn't there, like, some Twitter page or something that tells you when you can pet the dog in a game? Like, it'll review games yeah, based I've only on that. that. That's so funny. That's great. In, the, in Zelda, you can, like, pick it up and walk around in the, in the new Zelda. Oh, man. Do you have dogs in this one? There are dogs. I don't know if you can have a dog. Maybe in a DLC. Fallout always has the dog, but... Alright. Dog meat. <laughs> you think pets would be like an easy DLC that they could just like, Hey, a dollar, have a cat in your house, you know? Yeah. No. <laughs> There's that whole, um whole DLC, DLC based on domesticity, where like you build a house and you have children and stuff, right? Yeah. Like you adopt a child. Yeah, that was cool. Earth fire or something. Man, this is a lonely road. <sighs> Alright, I'll leave you alone. <laughs> oh, she's pleasant when you left. Yeah, it's because she was happy that I was leaving. <laughs> Very spiritual of you. Oh, yeah, really. You'd think she'd be like interested in other people making this pilgrimage. Right, yeah, it's like going this far. <laughs> some American guy like waking making his way up to a Tibetan temple. He's like, hey man, do you have a direction to the <sighs> Alright, here we go. Uh oh get ready! Yeah, yeah. No. The dreaded troll. This is the first encounter, isn't it? Here goes Lydia. Oh, no, 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 you're right. The rise and fall no, of I gotta Lydia. tell her to stay here. No. <laughs> no, here she comes! Oh, here she comes, it's over! You should probably save. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That is not a bad idea at all. What, you don't think I can take him? Why? Oh, oh shoot, oh, he oh, slipped him! Oh, Do you see that? Yeah. Magical oh, troll. shit. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> That's actually really scary. Um, it is, yeah, they're really scary when you're, uh, especially when you're just at a beginning level like this. Yeah, exactly. Um, so overpowered. Jesus, where's my... Uh, <laughs> is there like a potion I can take that makes my... Yeah, potions are one under apparel. Yeah, I know, but it, it makes me stronger. Uh, potion defender, yeah. blocking for 10 percent more. I'm just gonna do that. It's a shield, right? Yeah. You need yeah. the poisons on him. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, what? Where's my weapon? <laughs> Black and then punch him. <laughs> he's dancing, it looks like he's dancing. Axe of White Run. So they left it. Oh, is it, it's a two handed. Alright, alright. I made that. I uh, made a mistake. Um, uh, just use your sword or something. Yeah, I will. Steel, yeah. steel sword. And. Iron shield. Everyone's. <laughs> Oh no, look, she's already dying. <laughs> it does. Uh, oh! Holy Whoa. crap! Whoa! Better watch out. I should probably level up. Drink all your healing push. Oh yeah, forget yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. I always forget about that. Yeah, when your health goes down again, you can just go ahead and level up. Oh yeah, parallel is to... Man, he's resilient. Look at that! It's not going down at all. Good way to level up your stuff. Oh, oh no, I hit Lydia! I killed Lydia! Oh god <laughs> bless! Oh my god! She just killed over it. Alright, this is what loading and saving is for. That was pathetic. <laughs> oh man! Oh.
Yeah. Oh, okay. oh here he comes. Here he comes. He slid Sliding again. Sliding around. Classic. <laughs> oh, I don't remember that. He's like a gorilla. You he's know? George in the jungle. Yeah, he's. <laughs> All right, here we go. This one has to hit. Oh, yeah, right, I got him! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he turns into like an action figure, you know? <laughs> That's so goofy. Oh, nice! Oh, man. He's jiggling. Oh, boy. Oh, shoot, oh, shoot, you're shoot. Done. My god! Can you foos him off the edge? I'm thinking about that. Could it be your only way? This is I don't know why I took a magic potion. I didn't need that. <laughs> All right, we gotta attract him over here. Hope that Lydia goes back. All right, gonna, let's go back. Let's go back. Come on. I'm gonna charge him and die. Uh, there's no edge. It's just like a. Oh shoot! No no no! Yeah, it's just sort of a rolling thing. Full max. All right, all right, all right. Good God! I think we gotta let Lydia go, man. Yeah. We gotta let her go, yeah. you mean like accept her death? Yeah. What do you mean? No, she's not gonna die. Alright, this is this is how I'm gonna do it. Alright, this is not going anywhere quick. Oh, God. Alright, yeah, you keep shooting arrows. <laughs> <sighs> A great leader. You guys. Can you bring him, lure him down to Karita or whatever her name was, the one who went up? I'm gonna say, I think we should, I think I'm gonna go back down, restock on some stuff, get a little better, like temper really? my sword a little bit, and then try this. I don't, I don't see this happening like this, man. Look at this. Punch him with the bow. There you go. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't see this happening. You guys, before I watch it, I humiliate myself again, I'm gonna say thank you to the patron subscribers and everyone who's watching me kill Lydia. Uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. Um, place your bets now if you think Lydia's gonna make it through this. <laughs> um, take care. I'm getting out of here.